Hey, are you planning a move to Byron, Minnesota, but you're just not quite sure if it's the right place for you? Well, in this video, we're gonna unpack some of the pros and the cons of living here in Byron. And make sure to watch this video to the end for a bonus tip that will really make you look forward to moving to Byron. I'm Kelly DeMail with DeMail Real Estate at eXp Realty. Now, I currently live here in Byron and have for the past 20 years, so I can give some good firsthand knowledge, so let's get started. The city of Byron is in Olmsted County, Minnesota, and it's about five miles west of Rochester on Highway 14. Byron's got a close-knit community where everyone here is super friendly and welcoming, and it's really like one big family where your neighbors aren't just neighbors, they're your buddies. There are events going on throughout the year, like block parties and other community events, where you can just hang out, share stories, and really get to know everyone. Byron, due to its size, has limited job opportunities and is more of a suburb of Rochester. Many people live in Byron and take a very short commute to Rochester for their job, and that adds to the fast and consistent growth that Byron's been experiencing. Living in Byron has its perks for sure. It's a smaller community with close-knit neighbors and a really quiet sense of living. The commute to downtown Rochester is actually shorter than getting from north Rochester to South Rochester, so your quick drive time would be a big plus. So before you plant your roots here, it's worth thinking about what you want from your career and if Byron or its proximity to Rochester can meet those needs. Now word's been out for years that Byron has excellent schools and the community really supports the educational system. Our schools here are top notch seriously. The teachers and staff go above and beyond to give students the best education possible. They're all about making sure every kid has what they need to do well. And it's not just about hitting the books. We've got a ton of cool stuff like sports teams and clubs to keep the young ones really busy and learning outside of the classroom. Plus, we're close to some great colleges and universities, so the educational opportunities are really endless. It's a win-win for anyone looking for educational system that's first class. Now, Byron's weather could be a little chilly in the winter. It's the Northern US people and yeah, it's no joke. If you're into winter wonderlands and all the snow, you're gonna love it. But let's be real, it's not for everyone. We're talking cold temps and a potential for heaps of snow and ice. Winters can vary, but of course, when it's a snowy one, keeping up with snow removal and ice is a big thing here. Thankfully though, it'll eat up more of your time than your wallet. So if you're thinking of moving here, just make sure that you're ready for the winter. Get yourself some good winter gear, a great shovel and snowblower, and have a solid plan to tackle the chill. Byron has beautiful natural surroundings and there's so much to do here like hiking and biking, which gets you outside and keeps you active. Then there's the Zumbro River nearby, which is perfect for water sports, fishing, or just chilling out with your boat. Plus we've got parks, trails, and a zoo, which are perfect for picnics or just taking a leisurely stroll just to soak in some great views. But whether you're an adventure junkie or just loving to be outside surrounded by nature's beauty, Byron's got you covered. Byron's low population of just under 7,000 residents could be seen as a downside maybe, but there are some really nice upscale neighborhoods in Byron with other neighborhoods being the original areas first established. The variety of established neighborhoods and new developments is great, but of course, the city size can feel too small for some people and yet super comfy for others. While the intimate community vibe may appeal to some, it's really crucial to acknowledge the potential economic challenges that come with living in a city of this size. Byron may not have every amenity that you're thinking of, but if Byron doesn't have it, it can be found just minutes away in Rochester. Despite being a smaller city, Byron's got you covered when it comes to the basics that you're gonna need. Restaurants, healthcare, groceries, banks, coffee shops, numerous small businesses, athletic clubs, and so much more are just right around the corner for you. And if you need to go on a bigger shopping spree, no worries, because Rochester is just a hop, skip, and a jump away with its malls and retail spots. Oh, and don't forget the recreational stuff. We've got that too, and that's the best part. You get all of these conveniences without losing that cozy, small town feel. It's like having the best of both worlds right here in Byron. So now, your bonus tip for today. It's safety. When it comes to picking a place to call home, safety is a big deal for most folks. And guess what? Byron's got your back. 
We've got a really low crime rate and you can breathe easy knowing that you're in a safe spot. Neighbors here look out for each other, just like family. Plus, our community is patrolled by the local sheriff's department to make sure that you feel safe and sound. So whether you're taking a stroll at night or letting your kids run wild outside, you can trust that Byron's got your safety covered. And if you would like to know more about Byron and Rochester, Minnesota, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on my future videos and follow me on all my socials. And if you specifically like this video, then make sure that you hit that like button and click on all the boxes in your screen to see my other videos too. And if you comment or have questions below, I will make sure to respond to all of them. I am Kelly DeMail with DeMail Real Estate. We love where we live and we want you to love where you live too. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.